Watch you guys got another video, quick update video on the uh, SSD failing saga for Fizon and Windows Update. So Tom's Hardware has made a post after getting some information from Facebook group PC uh, DIY. They have posted the root cause of the issue, which stems from a pre-release engineering firmware on certain SSDs, which may have been triggered by a Windows 11 update. So in their Facebook post group, uh, admin Rose Lee has made a post. I'll show you that a little bit later on in a video. They've done extensive testing, and this is where all this information has come from. So I will show you that a little bit later on. So basically, admin Rose Lee said that the issue has been identified and additionally verified by Fizon engineers, thereby giving credibility to the claims. Now, Rose Lee explains that testing has been done by PC uh, DIY and they revealed that the SSD crashes are tied to the Windows 11 update and this was occurring on drives that were running these pre-released engineering firmware versions and not the final product version. So in a nutshell, when Microsoft released this Windows 11 update, if your computer was running a pre-release engineering firmware version and not the final production version, you would have issues. So this is tied to the Fizon controller. And if it had the pre-release engineering firmware on that version, this is where all the uh, issues were coming from. So since the SSD manufacturers using Fizon controllers source them directly from original suppliers and then ship them in bulk with mash production tools, the versions that reach consumers should already run the official firmware. This official firmware has been fully tested and verified and does not show any anomalies that sometimes are found in engineering uh, build samples. So last month, it was reported that Microsoft's August Windows 11 update was causing SSD failures. Users claimed that their drives were disappearing after heavy file transfers and with some systems unable to recover even after a reboot. So in response, Fizon issued a statement, which I showed you in previous videos, after conducting over 4,500 hours of testing, claiming that it wasn't able to reproduce uh, the problems that have been reported of SSD failures. So the company suggested that thermal issues could be contributing to the factor of failed drives even recommended users to employ heat sinks to avoid any overheating during every workload. This was just a precaution. And of course, then Microsoft themselves weighed in and made a statement firmly denying that the August update was not responsible for the storage problems. The company went on to say that it did its own investigation and it showed no connection between the security patch that they released and the SSD failures dismissing the theory and this is where all the social media stepped in with pointing the finger at microsoft and blaming microsoft for failed updates and causing death to ssds and all sorts of nonsense and this is the problem with social media things can get out of hand very quickly of course with all these opinions floating around and are people assuming things and also blaming people all this was done without any testing from these people now, a big thank you to Rose Lee and PC DIY uh, Facebook page because they have released a lot of this information. This is where Tom's Hardware has got his information as well. And of course, a lot of this stuff has been broken down and tested by Rose Lee and of and her team of people that she probably has there testing stuff. And there's quite a lot of information on here. What we do know is that now we know that it's uh, to do with a firmware issue with drives that were pre-release engineering samples, and it didn't play too well with uh, the Windows update that Microsoft released. And of course, you could be doing some extensive testing yourself, just like I tested myself. And probably the version I was tested on was the official released version of firmware. And of course, you're not going to have any issues with that version and you're going to come to the conclusion that there is no problem with that Windows update or that Fizon controller. And if you had the pre-release engineering sample version of firmware on that drive, you would then obviously 
end up with an issue like drive failure or loss of data or issues like the drives disappearing in the BIOS and all this sort of stuff. So what can you do? Well, at the moment, I think if you have a drive that has a pre-release engineering uh, firmware sample on it and you're having issues, then you may want to update the firmware on that particular drive because we do know the official uh, released version of that drive firmware is perfectly fine and it doesn't have any issues. How many of these uh, pre-released engineering firmware uh, versions are out there? I do not know. Only Fison will be able to uh, give you that information. But if it's quite a lot, then obviously there's going to be some issues showing up in the future. So you can find which drive you have. I'm only giving you an example here. These might not be the affected drives, but what you need to do if you do have a Fison controller and it is affecting your system, then you might want to head over to the manufacturer's website of that drive and download the software for that particular drive. You can then scan that drive and it will tell you whether there is a firmware release for that drive. So if you're looking at the screen right now and you're seeing a drive that isn't related to this issue, don't worry. I'm just showing you an example of what you'll need to do to be able to flash the firmware on that drive. Now, it's important that you make a backup of all your data before updating the firmware on your drive because if something goes wrong during the flashing process of that firmware, you run the risk of losing data. So it's important that you back up all your information before you do any sort of firmware update the same thing goes for the BIOS flashing and things like that. So once you find the piece of software for your particular drive, if it supports it, you can then open up the software and it will tell you whether there is a firmware release for that particular drive. And all you need to do then is run a scan on that drive for firmware updates. It will probably tell you, like it says here, I'm already running the latest firmware for that particular drive. So bear that in mind, your drive might not have a firmware update for it, but if you do have a SSD drive that does have a Fison controller on it and it does have that engineering firmware on there, then there will be a official firmware update for you on that software and you can just run it and it will allow you to uh, flash the firmware on that drive and all your problems will go away. Now, how many of these drives with engineering firmware samples on them are released to the general public or to shops where you can buy them? I really do not know. Only Fison will be able to have that information uh, for you. But if it's uh, content creators like Jace Two Cents, maybe he was sent some drives uh, to him and maybe these had the engineering firmware samples on them. And of course, this is why he had those issues. Uh, as a consumer, you may buy a drive and it may normally have an official firmware on there and you might not receive any of these problems. And this sort of gives you the mixed uh, sort of issues that people are having. Some people are saying they have a Fison controller on their drive and they're not having any issues at all. And some people are saying they've had issues. So again, it all comes down to what firmware is on your drive. Now, the big question is how many drives have been released with this engineering firmware on them. So has it managed to hit the mainstream like all of your Best Buys and your uh, Walmart and places like in the UK, like Scan and places like that where you buy drives that have these files and controllers on them? How many of those drives have been released to the general public where they can purchase them and they have these engineering firmwares on them because they've sent them out in bulk only Fison will be able to give you that information and maybe most of them have the official uh, firmware released on them which has no trouble whatsoever because if there's masses of these out in the wild in shops then people that are purchasing these drives can in the future end up with issues unless Microsoft find a way to add in some sort of patch to fix the engineering sample firmware four files on and that way we won't have any issues whatsoever i really don't know it's a little bit too early to call yet but again i think microsoft and files need to work together and trying to find a resolution to this problem maybe uh, microsoft will hold their hands up and say hey it's nothing to do with us this is a firmware issue 
on your product and you need to fix it yourself. Who knows? Only time will tell. Just want to say a big thank you to Rose Lee and Tom's Hardware for posting this information. I really do appreciate it. My name has been Brian from BrightechComputers.co.uk. Catch you in the next one. Mm-hmm.